Well, you recently participated in a roast. It was a really good roast. It uh, was a good one. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? The Franco roast. Oh, okay, I didn't know. You do so many roasts. I, I, every time I, turn I don't to, do that many roasts. Every time I turn like a roast, four. I swear you're roasting someone. <laughs> it's, like, it's like seven roasts. That you're, anyway, she was roasting James Franco, and she and Jonah Hill had some choice words for each other. Check this out. Ooh. Right before the show started, Seth rolled a gigantic fatty because that was the only way we could get Jonah Hill onto the stage. <laughs> Jonah actually gained 50 pounds for his role in the new Martin Scorsese film because the producers wanted the character to be a Jonah Hill type. <laughs> But he slimmed down a lot last year. Uh, but what Jonah lost in weight, he gained in weight. <laughs> Jonah, on a scale from one to 10, do you own a scale? Sarah Silverman, so amazing, so beautiful. I, I think you're gorgeous, and I think it's crazy because everyone's like, she's hot for a comic, but I don't agree, because she's not just hot for a comic, she's hot for someone her age. That's right. Um, seriously, Sarah, you were my favorite comic as a kid. Um, Sarah is a role model for every little girl out there. I mean, every little girl dreams of being a 58-year-old single stand-up comedian with no romantic prospects on the horizon. They all dream of it, but Sarah did it. I'm living it. And <laughs> see, I, I, see, I, see, I see you laughing now, but the word on the street was you were upset about that. Well, when I make fat jokes about Jonah, it's funny, but when he makes jokes about being old, that's not funny. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I you think I that. just made that point about five minutes ago. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Jason, now, I'm yes. sorry, I didn't mean cut you off. Jason Bates, 84, wrote in and said, what doesn't make you laugh? Does, is that the line for you? Like, is, are, is, there some, is there some things that are just off the limit, one of them being age? I would be a huge hypocrite if I said that that wasn't cool. I mean, I was so brutal to Jonah. Yes. And uh, God bless, and I know I'm godless, but, or whatever bless, nature. He, um, he, he took it so well, and he said something so beautiful um, when we were on the couch. He said... Everything I was terrified that, that people might say about me in life was just said to me on television, and I lived through it. And wow. I was just like, oh, it was so beautiful. But he was, he spent the weeks before anticipating being hurt. I was the one comforting people like, oh, it's all in good fun, right. don't worry about it. And I had no idea there were gonna be jokes about me being old, and I was just kind of like, what? You know, but, um. It was good. It was nothing that a couple days in bed couldn't cure. <laughs> but uh, it really, I'm happy for it because, one, I, I protect their right to, I mean, I was brutal. That's what so it a did, roast So it did is. hurt. It did hurt. Yeah, it hurt, but I defend it. I'll, I'll defend it to my death. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But, but that's okay. It's okay to get, let things, we're made of feelings, you know, and it was really a gift to be forced to kind of process that and to have realizations about that. About I mean, I wasn't even the oldest one on the dais, you know? And, um, but it's so different. It almost seems boring. I, I don't even want to be trite, but it really is different for women. I mean, even in, in the brightest of pop culture, as soon as you're, you know, at an age where you have opinions and you're outspoken and you know who you are, you're very much encouraged to crawl under a rock and be embarrassed by any wrinkle or any... Um, or, or by still being alive. <laughs> you know? right. But, um, and so it's interesting to me, and it, 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 it gave me something, wow. you know? And you know, I, I would feel terrible if I were to make Jonah or Seth feel badly for any of the jokes they did because they were great, no, you know? No, no, I, I totally got it. You know, it never crossed my mind that that would be something that would seriously trouble you. Um, because no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I don't mean the trouble, I don't, I don't think, I'm not gonna take your shoestrings right now or anything like that. <laughs> I, I, I just mean like, it, 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 str it struck me as interesting because you're a comedian and because you, you trade in certain kinds of humor and it, it didn't cross my mind and it should have, that certain things could hit you in a sore spot too. Yeah, and that's what comedy is. You know, we're all seeing it in the context of our own lives and our own experience. So things are gonna hit people in different ways and you can't just, keep cutting out topics and cutting out things because it might offend people, you'll be left with nothing. You just have to accept that sometimes 
uh, you may not be someone's cup of tea and, and something might not be your cup of tea. And it doesn't mean, you know, we live in this weird society lately where if, if something isn't someone's cup of tea, they want to ban it. Yeah. You know, people don't say anymore, that's not for me. They go, that shouldn't be for anyone, hmm. you know? And it's about, it's about you and your history and your experience. And you have to accept that and know that you can't, your opinion can't be policy.